Good afternoon. Welcome to the Poyers restaurant. My name is uh, Ludovic Poyers and uh, I will show you what I do with the turban shell. Turban shell is a um, sea snail uh, caught, of course, in, in Port Stevens. So it's quite a long cooking process. So I did cook them before. So those ones, they, they've been cooked. I do cook them in a courbouillon. Courbouillon is carrot, celery, onion. Uh, in water, I add some uh, cumin and salt. And I boil them for an hour, an hour and a half. When they boil, I tap them. The shelf come out. And I got a version longer than that. The turban shell got the guts in the middle and at the back it's got the rolly things, which is the fat. The fat tastes like foie gras. Um, I'm sad to say that, like a, a foie gras. It is, it is good, but being such a small quantity, I'm only using the, the body, the meat part. So that's the turban shell would be cooked and cleaned. That's what we're going to cook uh, shortly. When the turban shell is cooked, let's say I tap it and the animal will come out. The animal will come out with the guts and with the fat on the bottom. The fat on the bottom, I heard some uh, Asian people call it the pate. It tastes a little bit like a foie gras. Um, the gut, it's full of sand, you don't want to eat them, and that's the part you eat. So the pate being very, very small, I don't use it, uh, or I eat it most of the time, but uh, I, use, I use the flesh part. So I'm going to do a brace funnel. Brace funnel would be on the bottom of my dish. Beautiful bubble funnel. I will cut. You got a hard part on the funnel, which is here. You don't want it really. So I'll put that in a bin. And after I'm going to do, we call that a kind of, well, I call it very thinly sliced funnel. Very thinly sliced. You can have the big bowl of funnel ready. The, you can do it bigger if you like. Bigger, cook longer. So you spend more time in the kitchen. Um, I will braise that in fish stock with a bit of French shallots, some butter, and some saffron, which I got here. Salt, pepper. And that would be on the bottom of our dish. That would be the base of our dish. So the, the plates, which is a sabayon, would be lined with this fennel and saffron um, uh, braise braised fennel and saffron. The top would be the turban shell, more or less uh, garlic, parsley, French, French uh, style, and on top we put the champagne sabayon. So braised fennel, butter. I put that on the stove. Melt the butter. Bit of pepper, salt, and French shallots diced. Diced French shallot. When you cook, you're not cooking only with your taste. You're cooking with your ears. You know, I like the the sound of something in a pan. And after you got the smell. And sometimes I got my uh, apprentice court doing things wrong just by using my ears or the sense of smell. And like that we can rectify if there is a mistake about to happen. So that's the fish stock. And I will put the saffron in it. So the saffron is going to be to give a little bit so the turban shell being cooked, 
I don't really need to cook them, but I want to bring more taste to those turban shells. So when you eat uh, a snail in France, most of the time it's garlic. The texture of the turban shell is completely different, but it still needs, you know, my, friend, my French heritage is there, and the garlic, it's important. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do chopped garlic, parsley, a little bit of French shallot, and I use the tip of my fennel instead to do nothing with it. I use them inside. So it's going to, the fennel give you a little bit of taste of uh, star anise taste, which in a, in a snails you use from your garden, you actually put an alcohol called perno or, or ricard or pastis, which is very star anise and uh, herbal, or herbal flavor. And I reckon it's going very well with those turbans. So that's a stage two. I got my, my parsley. Here it is. My garlic, my fennel. My French shallot, which I diced before. And now we go with the turban. So I change my knife for the turban, I like it. The, the turban is the end, I want a very thin slice, very thin slice of turban. The turban can be a bit chewy. For the sabayon, I whip some cream. You don't want a, a shanty, like we call, texture cream. You, you want it, we call that to the parrot, the parrot beak. So basically, it's a little bit soft here, but the time I do my sabayon, it will get it will get harder, and um, after I, I will include some uh, cream inside my egg yolk. That's what makes the texture, and that's what can be uh, gratiné. So for the sabayon, I took a pot, I put some water in it. The fact I put some water, it's to cook the sabayon in a bain-marie. Bain-marie is a bowl on top of my pot with water steaming, not touching, steaming. Otherwise, if you teach you, more than likely to be scrambled eggs very quickly. You take some eggs, clarify the eggs, and I use the egg yolks. It is very uh, often you use more than you need. Well, most of the people got much more than they need in their fridge anyway. But for recipes like that, if you use just too little, it's not working. It's going to burn and things like that. So for this, this dish, for these plates, I probably just, just need one egg yolk. But for security, for security purpose and cooking timing and things like that, I will use three. In an egg yolk, I put some cracked pepper and some champagne. I put about 100 ml of champagne, cracked pepper. So that is my, um, and of course, salt. So now I use a whisk and I go on top of my water. A sabayon, you're going to have a lot of bubbles at the beginning. A lot of bubbles. So your sabayon is going to be foamy. When you eat um, eggs benedict in a restaurant, you don't have this bubble. So basically, and you go up and down, you know, like you really need to cook a, you don't want to do scrambled eggs. But um, you want the same, the same kind of texture, it's going pretty fast. The same kind of texture of, of an hollandaise, but you don't want your eggs to be undercooked. So it's going very, very fast. The water is going very, very fast. So I don't want to cook it too quick to give it the time to cook, but I don't want it to burn otherwise. So now it's time to put our dish together. The braised fennel with saffron. I place it on the bottom of my dish. So all the components in this uh, dish are warm. So let's say you do the braised fennel the day before. That's fine, but warm it up. You know, like there is no oven or anything involved in this dish. So this is the plate with the fennel. 
after I'm adding my turban shell on top. So you see the color it's bringing to the dish, you know, like it's, it's talking by itself. It's, it's actually saying, eat me, eat me straight away, you know. I'll tell you later because we got the, the sabayon we're going to put on top. So we cover the dish with the sabayon. You don't want to over cover it. You want to see the plates. You want a you want a glimpse of what's happening under under the under the curtains. You know. And now the final uh, bits of the sabayon. It's basically to gratinate. You can gratinate in the oven under the grill, or you can use a torch. So the torch you use it pretty far away to gratinate your your sabayon. And you're going to have uh, this little color coming. So your, your eggs, if you put too much cream, the gratin is going to uh, caramelize less quickly. If you put not enough, it's, it's not really a recipe uh, as such exact. It's, it's try and error, you know? Like, but what you want, it's this little black bits coming up nice and make it really uh, want to eat it. So that's why I'm saying you need your plates to be very clean because if I go here and my plate is not clean, it's going to show straight away. And on top of that, I love those flowers and my uh, good friend Peter who is doing them for me. And when you actually bring them on your dish, it looks actually absolutely stunning. It's actually bring back the dish. Look, you don't need much more else. It's like on a plate, it's ready to go. Bon appétit.